praise God, I was just in the shower and the Holy Spirit really put something strong on my heart. Now this is a message for the Christians. It's like a secret message. Here's a secret. Okay, from God. Here it is. Okay. Nuclear war is coming to America. But here's what the secret is. There's going to be a first strike. But it ain't over. So if you live in a major city, when you hear the report, nuclear attack on Los Angeles, New York, and the big cities, and you're in like a secondary big city, like, I don't know, Phoenix, Arizona, or Sacramento, California. You know, like... A big city, but not like a major city. Listen. It's only a first strike. And as soon as everybody starts to think it's over, and they start to come out of their little hiding places, there's going to be a second strike. So what you need to understand is, you're going to remember this video, and you're going to know, even though what you hear of is happening far away, and now it's been 27 hours and nothing's happened. And everybody thinks it's over. It's not. You still need to get with your family who lives out in the woods somewhere. You still need to be heading out there. You still need to be gathering up the food, the water, and the survival tools, a shovel, a pickaxe. Uh, you know, get your backpack full of water and food and just head to the hills. Because there's going to be a second strike. And the Bible makes it clear. Watch my other videos about thermonuclear war. Found in the Bible. Revelation chapter 6. When the sixth seal is pulled. So here's the point. Just today. There was a rally in Phoenix, Arizona. A draw Muhammad rally. And that's great. I believe in freedom of speech and everything. But one thing you don't realize is that our president is a Muslim. And during the Charlie Hebdo massacre, he pretty much sent a message to the world when he didn't have anyone show up or show any consideration or make any type of public statement against that. He wasn't no one from the United States was even present at the Solidarity meeting afterward when all the nations gathered to say this is not right. And so now we have in the United States an anti-Islam movement. And I believe me, I'm part of it, man. Islam is wickedness. But here's the thing. The president of the United States... It's not anti-Islam. He's for Islam. As a matter of fact, his jihad is to be the president. What he's doing now is part of his jihad. Don't you get that? I'm just saying. He read the handbook. September 11th, 2001. Remember the FBI released that the, the jihadists had a handbook that said, shave your beard, look like a Westerner, look like a tourist, board a plane, don't look like a Muslim with the beard and the garb on. I'm just saying. So get ready. Because it's coming soon. And if you can get off the grid and be out in the woods somewhere and living out there, say take, that opp take the opportunity now. If you have your house, if you can sell your house and you're, you've are you been dreaming about just moving out to the country, maybe this is God's sign for you right now, the Holy Spirit saying, do it and make it off the grid. If you just inherited an extra bunch of money and you don't know what to do with it, go buy a piece of land out in the woods and get it all set up, passive solar, off the grid, because see, a lot of people think we're gonna about to be raptured. 
Oh, and before anything bad happens, we're all going to be raptured. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, you need to watch my other videos. The Bible says that, the mar that one, the gospel will be preached to all, cre all the earth, every tongue, language, tribe, every people. After that happens, and guess what? <laughs> that has happened, especially with the internet. The next thing to happen is Babylon the Great Falls. That's a worldwide event. That's the United States getting atomically destroyed. And then the next thing that happens right after that is the Mark of the Beast comes out. So out of the chaos of World War III, the Mark of the Beast is going to come out. And then you know what's going to happen? The Bible says that you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have that mark. And the Bible says this calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints. And the Bible says to him who's destined to captivity, to captivity, to him who's destined for the sword, to the sword. And it says you're going to have to have patient endurance as a Christian. And well, no, not as a Christian. The Bible says those who follow God. See, there's a lot of Christians out there who are chasing after money, and the first thing they're going to do, the minute they can't get a Whopper with cheese, the minute they can't fill, get a fill-up for their Mercedes-Benz, they're going to go right in, get that Mark of the Beast put on, and then start preaching on how it's okay, and how we can be saved, and we can all be gay, too, and there can be gay marriage in the church. Well, I'm just saying, it's all set up. And then some people are going to take the Mark of the Beast just because they want to see the... They just want to see the Super Bowl. I'm just saying. So here's the deal. It's going to happen just like the Bible says. It's going to happen just like the Bible says. The, the Bible says, Jesus even said, that that day will not come until first there be a great falling away. What is the great falling away? The great falling away is when the mark of the beast comes out. And all those people who claim to serve God but never obeyed God are going to completely fall away, take the mark of the beast, and be just like Judas Iscariot and betray those who believe. That's what the Bible says. Jesus said, brother will betray brother even unto death. I'm just quoting God's word. And if you don't believe me, you can watch some of my other videos where I break it down verse by verse, scripture by scripture. And I didn't get this stuff just by reading the Bible and studying it. I was, I'll be walking along just praising God and worshiping the Lord and boom, it'll hit me. Or I'll be in bed sleeping and I'll wake up and the Lord will speak to me. So this doesn't come by study. It comes by revelation from God and then God shows you his word. And so if you need to pray about that, in Jesus' name, I pray God open your eyes right now. Hallelujah. So here's the deal. It's winding down, and Obama doesn't want to give up the presidency. He wants to stay the Muslim president of America and be just like Putin, run 15 years as president, you know. I mean, look at what Putin did. Putin's over and over and over again, and anybody who opposes Putin dies. I'm just saying. But praise God, man. It just means that the, the end is near, which means the beginning of the millennial reign of Jesus Christ from Jerusalem on this earth is soon approaching. So it's going to be a whole new day. It's going to be glory. But we got a couple years to endure. And frankly, nothing bad has really happened in America yet. Uh, and anybody who thinks we're all, all of America is just going to get raptured up before anybody has to go through any trials. Are you kidding me? The Bible says, oh, here's another. The Bible says that there's a certain number of saints that when that number is fulfilled, that's when the raptures, who are to be put to death for their faith. That's, that's the fifth seal in Revelation chapter 6. They said, they said, how long before, before oh, oh Lord, how long before you avenge our death? And the Lord replies, he says, soon. He says, there's a number of fellow brothers and sisters, saints in the Lord, who are to be put to death for their faith. And once that number is complete, 
Then he says, I'll pour out my wrath on the earth. That means that the God's people will be taken up. Okay, and then there's another verse in the, I think it's chapter 14, where it says, the day is coming when God will say, blessed are those who die in the Lord from henceforth. And that's after the mark of the beast comes out. So my goal is to live until I hear that from the Holy Spirit saying, blessed are those who die in the Lord from henceforth. And it's going to be something that everybody who's led by the Holy Spirit and is sensitive to the Holy Spirit, they're all going to feel that same word from God. And it's just going to be like, we're going to all be, those who are truly saved are going to be, it's going to be like the underground church in North Korea or China. Okay, we're all going to be have to be led by the Holy Spirit. Sometimes there's going to be someone who comes into the meeting and betrays us all. And some people get arrested. Some people slip out the back door just before they come get us. It's going to, but it's going to be a time of miracles and power and, and glory too. And those of you who should fast, but you just don't seem to fast, and and you, you really need to, to get your heart right with God, you're going to have plenty of time to fast because you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're going to have plenty of time to spend in prayer and seeking God because you're going to be unemployed. I'm just telling you, it's going to be a time... It's actually God's mercy and grace because it's going to be a time of great trial and tribulation where you'll actually finally be able to say, finally, I'm coming out of the world. And God has basically put you in a situation where you can do that fasting that you feel like you need to fast. I'm talking three, four days without food or water and, and having to need a miracle just to keep breathing. I'm talking about the miracle when... When Elijah, when God sent the ravens to feed Elijah, I'm talking about miracles, signs and wonders. You've been, For those of you out there who've been really for years praying for miracles and signs and wonders, what if I were to tell you, yeah, that's only after a huge disaster and the mark of the beast comes out and you're running for your life and you're going to see miracles. You'll walk on water. You'll walk right across the, the you know, they'll be coming to get you and you'll jump in a lake and swim to the bottom and somehow come up the other side two and a half hours later and they'll be like where'd he go he must have died he must have drowned i don't know we don't see him they're gonna have a drone up above you about to drop a hellfire missile and then you disappear into a lake i'm just saying god's gonna do miracles i'm just saying it's gonna be a time of miracles but but it's gonna be also a time of patient endurance on the part of those who serve god and somebody watching this, you think I'm crazy, but everything I said, the Holy Spirit's going to remind you, and you're going to remember, and you're going to know, and you're going to say, oh, whoa, the Holy Spirit warned me of this years ago. And it might be only a year, might be two years, might be five years. I don't know. But I'm just telling you, you're going to remember some of the things I've said right here, and you're going to remember thinking, I thought that guy was crazy, but now I, <laughs> you're going to try to find me on YouTube again. You know our freedom is gone when they censor YouTube and YouTube is off and you can't find anything on YouTube that you want to watch and everything on YouTube is like, Islam is great, Islam is wonderful, Islam is peace. And any news report of people being massacred by a group of Muslims, that's just eliminated. And they all walk around acting like Islam is this wonderful, peaceful religion when they're all preaching from the pulpit. It's only the FBI. Listen, let me explain something to you. Muslims would have killed us all if they could have. They would have killed us all already if they could have. And it's because the might of the United States military and the West, God has given the Christians and the Jews more power than them. Okay, but that day is going to turn. There's going to be a turnaround. Which is unfortunate, but you know what? I anticipate it because I'm anticipating going to see my king, my lord, my god, my savior. Okay? So bring it. You know what I'm saying? Bring it. This world. Pff, who wants this world anyway? I mean, you, all the crazy stuff. You can't even. You can't even do anything in this world without wicked people all around you. You can't even get a job that's wholesome and true. It seems like every job I've had to get, I, I worked for years ago, I worked for 7-Eleven. All I was doing all day was selling cigarettes and beer. 
And I was like, I can't do this job. Then I worked as a car salesman, and they wanted me to lie, cheat, and steal from customers. And that's what that's what car salespeople do. They lie, they cheat, they'll change. I saw my managers rewrite contracts after the customer had signed. Just crazy stuff, dude. And I'm standing there going, but, uh, like, I'm, like, stuck in the middle of that. Like, and then I started to be evil, too. Because of the love of money. And God told me, quit that job. And then I couldn't find a good job. And then, I, I mean, I worked for a company that did check cashing. And the poor people will come in and pay 12% to get their check cashed. <laughs> Other people come in to get a cash advance. And I remember thinking, these people are so stupid and I'm helping them. I'm I'm helping I, as an employee for this company. I was helping to do what's not right. Anyway, forget about it. I'm just saying. Point is, America has fallen. America has fallen already. America was in the process of falling for years, but the crash, that final hitting of the ground, and it's like this: a big tower when it falls. Fall real slow at first. And then BAM when it finally hits the ground. And that's what America is coming to. It's coming to a big crash. And it's gonna finally hit the ground. And those who listen to the Holy Spirit already know that what I'm saying is true. And those who are clueless and don't obey God, you think I'm crazy. And it's only by God's grace you even watched this video this this far. And the day is coming when you'll look back and say, all those Christians who were saying that there was some terrible disaster, some think it's going to be a comet. That may happen afterwards, some sometime later. But I'm telling you, when, when the Bible says, fallen is Babylon the Great, that is thermonuclear war, and Babylon the Great is America.